Hello and welcome to the Confidently Navigating Midlife Health Summit. I'm your host, Mary Ann Dover, and our special guest today is Dr. Evan Hirsch, MD. He's also known as the Energy MD, and he's a world-renowned energy expert. He's also a best-selling author and professional speaker. He's the creator of the Energy MD Method, the science-backed and clinically proven four-step process to resolve chronic fatigue and long COVID naturally. Through his best-selling books, podcasts, and international online programs, he has literally helped thousands of people around the world. And he's been featured on TV, podcasts, and summits. And he is just here to share his knowledge and help us with resolving energy issues. Um, and it's a huge topic. So welcome, Dr. Hirsch. Marianne, thanks so much for having me on. So how does somebody even know they have chronic fatigue? Because we go along and we kind of um, compensate all the time and, and, you know, we just do the best we can day in and day out. So how does somebody really know they have fatigue? Yeah, you're exactly right. As humans, we're incredibly adaptable. And as we get older, we just kind of think we're slowing down because we're no longer doing physical education classes and in, in high school and middle school, and that life is just kind of getting in the way of us being active. But the reality is, is that things are accumulating in our lives. We get more deficiencies, we get more toxins, and then eventually we hit a tipping point. And so essentially it's really subjective because if somebody's energy is not where they want it to be, then it's a problem. But in more objective terms, you know, if people are napping during the day, you know, for me, when I had my fatigue, I was actually napping under my desk and I was already a functional medicine doctor practicing and I felt incredibly embarrassed that I couldn't fix my issue. So oftentimes people are taking naps, sometimes under the desk, sometimes during lunch, sometimes going out to the car during the day and, um, and trying to take a nap or if they aren't able to survive without some sort of stimulant, whether it's caffeine, an energy drink, even if it's uh, you know black tea, some sort of caffeinated or stimulant that is going to increase their energy throughout the day. Um, that's when that there's a problem. It's not just that you're getting old, it's that your energy is not where you want it to be and it's interfering with your quality of life. Yeah, and a lot of people, that's so true. They think, well, I'm pushing 50, I'm pushing 60, so I should be slowing down. The, the world tells me I should be slowing down. Right. And so they don't even question it. So right. what do you think the cause of that chronic fatigue really is? So it's a combination of deficiencies. So these are things that are not in the body and toxins. These are things that are accumulating in the body that are in the body that shouldn't be there. And so it's generally this combination. Now in our programs, we're looking at 38 different causes. And when somebody gets chronic fatigue, they're going to have a combination of about 20 or more of these causes. So it feels a little bit overwhelming to kind of get their head around, but oftentimes the really the big ones are the toxins that have accumulated over time. These are things like heavy metals, chemicals, molds, infections, and trauma. And those end up causing a number of the other toxins and deficiencies in the body, like deficiencies in hormones, and vitamins and minerals and mitochondrial dysfunction. There's obviously lifestyle habits, which aren't related to those, but you can optimize those. Those are the things that you have the most control over. But then there's things like food allergies, inhaled allergies that are also contributing electromagnetic um, exposures. So it's the combination of all those that have basically accumulated over time. You know, we come out of the womb already behind the eight ball where we're already having a bunch of toxins in our body. And those just get accumulated throughout our lives until the body says enough is enough. I got to shut down and try to repair myself. And then people get chronic fatigue. Yeah. And that's so true because in the nurses study that we did, um, there was over 90 different toxins in cord blood. So right. a poor infant doesn't even... <laughs> you know, really start their life optimally in good health. They have to fight all that. So why is this such a chronic problem that's hard to treat? Because it seems to be just about um, an impossible thing sometimes. Yeah, well, I think the challenge is that most people are looking for one cause or a magic bullet. Um, and oftentimes they're looking for a magic bullet in the form of a treatment. 
where it's like, well, maybe this IV therapy or this B12 shot or this peptide or this whatever, this supplement is going to get me there. And instead, and they should really be looking at what causes do they have? Which of the 20 of these causes do they have? Because it doesn't have to be overwhelming. If let's say you take a supplement for each of these causes and you do that for a year and your problems are solved, that's essentially what you're looking at. And that's not the end of the world. So <clears throat> it's refocusing on figuring out the causes. And then it's also about, you know, the the challenges understanding all these causes and how they interplay. You know, the only reason why I'm kind of in this field is because I had chronic fatigue and it wasted me for five years until I fixed it and, and I got better. Um, but a lot of practitioners, you know, you can be a functional medicine practitioner and you can help lots and lots of people without ever diving into heavy metals, chemicals, molds, Lyme, COVID, you know, and so you can help a lot of people by boosting adrenals and thyroid and mitochondria and working on the sex hormones. So, and working on lifestyle and, and um, lifestyle habits. So you improve those things and you're going to get a lot of people better, but there's still those people who can't get better. And those are the people who really need to look at some of these other causes. Yeah. And I shared with you that I'm from Flint, Michigan, and we had the horrific um, exposure of lead through our a whole municipal water supply. Right. So you're very right. Um, you know, there weren't any health dollars that were allocated for us to be able to do all of this toxic testing. Mm -hmm. In fact, we had many people that were denying it was even happening. But as a healthcare professional, you know that there are definitely underlying problems that aren't the average problem. And so, yeah, being able to really look at those toxins and get to the root cause of the problem is really essentially the um, answer to it all. So what makes the four step energy MD method different? And what is it really all about? Great question. So um, this four step process is one that I found through trial and error over the last 20 years. Um, the first step is to figure out all the causes that an individual has. So you know, person A may have a certain combination of those 20 plus causes out of the 38 that we look at. And person B may have a different combination or they're always gonna have a different combination. No two people have the same combination. So it's really important to individualize this for people. Now, what's really exciting is that 75% of all these 38 different causes can be determined by symptoms alone. Mm -hmm. So that means that based off of somebody's symptoms, we're going to know 75% or more of their causes. And then the rest of them, um, rest of those causes would require some labs. So um, that's the first step is figure out the causes that somebody has. And then the second step is to start replacing the deficiencies. So we talked about deficiencies and toxins. And we talked about how this process is really all about removing those toxins that I mentioned. However, in order to be successful at removing those toxins, we have to first make the human more resilient. And so we have to boost the adrenals, the mitochondria, the thyroid, that's gonna increase energy up a tick or two, and that's gonna help people feel stronger. It helps decrease inflammation. It makes everything else work better. It makes it more resilient when we start removing the toxins, um, replacing the deficiencies in vitamins and minerals, start working on the lifestyle habits, food choices, et cetera. Mindset is a big part of this. And then in step three, we start opening up the drainage pathways or the detoxification pathways, because you have to have an exit strategy when you start to remove these toxins that we're talking about. So the, the liver and the kidney and the lymph and the brain lymph and the intestines and the gallbladder, all these pathways are inherently, when somebody has chronic fatigue, clogged. And so we have to start opening up those pathways so that we can start getting the things out of there that have clogged the system. And then um, we can have a space for the toxins to be removed, those heavy metals, chemicals, molds, and infections. They have to have that place to go. And so it's that, that's really that rate limiting step where the amount of toxins that we're able to remove are really dependent on how open those pathways are that we do in step three. Yeah, and that is so smart. I've seen a lot of people who have tried to self-treat themselves with over-the-counter supplements to detox themselves and ended up with these um, horrific shifts within their metabolism and made them very, very ill. 
because they really didn't understand that drainage pathway. It all released into their body, but then those toxins were just recirculating and going around and around, making them just as sicker, sicker, actually. Absolutely. So how do you really know if you can help somebody? Because that's a question I always ask. I do a really thorough health history with them, but I'm never quite sure because of those things that they've done, whether I'm going to be able to really help them. Yeah. So when I get on a call with somebody or when they're visiting our website, the, the big thing really is the no, whether they have actually assessed all the causes, because nine times out of 10, they haven't looked at all these causes correctly, and then they haven't fixed them. Because it really is, if you want to break it down as simply as possible, it's a two-step process. Find the causes that you have, and then take the proper treatment to remove those causes. And like I said, pretty much every single time I get on a call with somebody who's still not feeling well, who's still sick, who thinks they've done everything, they haven't done everything. Um, and so inevitably they, you know, they think that they don't have Lyme because they had a laboratory test, which is inherently erroneous. You're asking basically an immune system that's dysfunctional to give you an accurate answer, right? So, so many of these things, these infections and whatnot can be determined, like I said, from symptoms in history, and so we have to come back to that. If somebody says, well, I don't have this cause because, you know, I don't have mold because I never lived in a moldy home. Well, you know, if, if you, the reality is, is that most people have lived in moldy homes and if they've got chronic fatigue, the likelihood is even higher. And so even if people aren't believers, they can be non-believers until eventually they realize that they're not getting better. And then they're like, okay, well, I guess I have to look at this now. Yeah, or when you do take them down that pathway to remove mycotoxins, all of a sudden they start feeling better and then they realize this practitioner actually knows what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. So then they will invest the time. But what do you do for the other people who are trying to take a multitude of supplements and they're just not getting anywhere? They think they're doing something good for their body, but right. in reality, they're not. It probably isn't even being absorbed at that point. Yeah, and I tell people, you know, you can replace the deficiencies until the cows come home. And that's what most people are doing. You know, they feel a little bit better by boosting their adrenals and their thyroid and their mitochondria and taking vitamins and minerals and this, that, and the other thing. But the reality is, is that they're not really getting at the underlying root, root causes, these heavy metals, chemicals, molds infections and trauma. And so I just, uh, I explained to them this process and explained to them that the reason why they're not getting better is because they're not working on actually all the real root causes that they have. Yeah. And I think a lot of people don't realize the depth of their problems either. Everything is so superficial in their lives that, um, in, in the Western medicine world, which is where I've worked for decades before I became a, a functional medicine practitioner, you have approximately 15 minutes with your practitioner. Right. And in that 15 minutes, if you can't elaborate exactly what's wrong with you, they, you know, because of insurance reasons, they don't have any more time to treat you. Right. If you can't tell them what's wrong, and I find most people, they can't tell them. They just right. don't know what's wrong. They just know something's broken and they don't feel right. So how, how do yeah. you kind of navigate around that? Yeah, well, and that's the challenge, too, is that, you know, asking a, a conventional practitioner or somebody who, you know, you don't know what the person knows who's sitting across from you. You know, so I always tell people you have to interview your practitioner and ask them their comfort with the big five, the heavy metals, the chemicals, the molds, the infections and trauma. And be very specific about, you know, how many people have you treated? You know, can you see testimonials on their website where they're where people are talking about the issues that they had and, and what they got um, and how they got over it? You know, so um, that's really the biggest thing is educating the consumer. And so that they're only working with the people who actually have the knowledge to get them where they want to go. You know, and I'm sure there's more causes out there. You know, I'm not perfect. I, I keep on increasing as I learn more causes. Obviously, COVID has been a new cause, you know, but I feel like looking at 38 different causes is going to get me closer to the goal. Maybe I'm looking at 95% of all those causes, but, you know, I'm not really looking at the XMRV virus or some of these other really nuanced things that are quite rare. And so it's kind of like um, 
you just want to make sure you're working with somebody who's got a really broad differential and are looking at a lot of different causes. Because unfortunately, the conventional doctor, you can be as articulate as possible with what's going on for you, but they're just practicing symptom management with the medications that they have, and they're not actually getting at the real root cause. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And a lot of times they are um, disgusted themselves with not being able to provide their patients with the right answers. They are very caring physicians, but the insurance is only going to pay so much money for their care. And so they'll take me aside usually and they'll say, well, you know, he didn't really elaborate on anything. I'm not really sure now even what's wrong with me or what path I should take. And I tell them, if you're going to depend on your insurance company to recover your health, you might as well just stop right now. Right. It's going to have to take an investment from you to want to be well, and you're going to have to pay for it because that's all there is to it. And it can sometimes be a little bit costly, but you have to, in the end, look at what your health is worth. And yeah. so uh, I really am an advocate for anybody to go that extra mile get those tests done. Yeah, I'm really glad that you said that because, you know, in, in our society, unfortunately, people are, are way too willing to spend 20, 30 or $40,000 on a car mm -hmm. and they're not willing to spend one, five or $10,000 on their health, you know? And um, it's just, it's, it takes a mental shift for people to realize that they, that they have to figure out what their priorities are. And if their priorities really are getting well, then you vote with your dollars, you know, because you're exactly right. You know, like I have an hour with, with people, my first visit, it's an hour and a half. Like you're not going to be able to get that in an insurance based model. And so, um, yeah. No, you're not even going to come. You're not even going past 15 minutes because yeah. that is just, the way it is in the Western medicine world. And you're not going to be able to get past the doctor because he has too many patients to see. And it is all geared toward insurance. Right. So the other question I wanted to ask you was there are a lot of people and we know that there are some supplements that do help them. And it's really going to um, facilitate their healing a lot faster. But there's also some people that have real sensitivities. And I've run into that in my practice. So how would you deal with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen a, quite a few people with sensitivities or MCAS, mast cell activation syndrome. And so what I try to do, so we know that, so the, the causes are the same. So these people are FOS, they're full of stuff. They're just full of all these different causes. And it just so happens that it's, it's, it's overwhelmed the system so that the body is just more reactive. We know that 80% of the immune system is in the gut. And we know if the immune system is triggered that anything that you put in your mouth, the immune system will potentially react to. Essentially the, the immune system is hyperactive, right? And anything you drop on it, it's going to react to. So any food, any supplement that they take orally. So we wanna bypass the, um, the mouth and take things in a different way. And so oftentimes what we're doing is we're using tinctures topically. And so then this allows us to get where we want to go, but by having them absorb things through the skin, and you'll absorb about 20, 25% of a drop, um, but it's going to bypass the gut so that people have less of a reaction. And then oftentimes we have to flip the four-step process if they're not going to be able to tolerate things in step two. And so then we go to step three first to open up those drainage pathways, then, in, then back into step two, or then even into step four, to start to remove the layers of heavy metals, chemicals, molds, and infections, because there's a mass effect where you start to remove a certain amount, and then all of a sudden the person's gonna be able to tolerate a lot more. Yeah, what a process. And it does take that professional process and somebody that's very knowledgeable, because I can tell you from experience, I've had people come in very, very sick because they just were trying to self-medicate and do the best that they could. So, well, and, um, and people oftentimes will ask me if they can just have a one-off appointment, but I tell them the magic really is having me in your back pocket. 
You know, in our programs, we guarantee a response to any question that somebody has within two business days, whether it's an online community or group calls or messaging me directly. And that's really where the magic happens. And because along this path, there's always going to be bumps when you're trying to individualize protocols for people. And so having a one time appointment can maybe help people figure out the causes they have. But, you know, you're not going to be able to get to the finish line if you don't understand the nuances of how all these causes fit together. And then you don't have the handholding to help you through all the bumps. And you are so right about that. And women in midlife, they're experiencing so many different things with the hormonal shift. Their adrenals are usually in pretty bad shape. Um, their whole nervous system is dysregulated from trying to serve everybody except themselves. Mm -hmm. And so they, I think, in my opinion, are the most at risk and need as much help as they possibly can from a trained professional who knows what they're doing. So sure. I really thank you so much for being with us today. Is there anything else you would like to say to our audience before you leave? Well, I would just like to leave them with something practical, you know, besides, you know, finding your causes is really the way to go. But I would say the most practical thing right now is working on your mindset, which is a big part of this. And the most practical of, we have a four-step mindset pr uh, practice. The most important part of that is having a gratitude practice. So every day, three gratitudes, say them, say them to yourself, say them out loud, record yourself saying, that, saying them and listen to it write it down in a journal, wh whichever one of those you want to do, just work on getting yourself back into a space of gratitude whenever you possibly can, whether it's something small, like the sun is out or something large, like you hit the lottery. It's just really important for your nervous system to regulate by being in a, in a grateful space. You are so right. And I learned this a few years ago and I wake up every day and I start writing down my gratitude list and it just opens up the whole world to new possibilities when you can be mm -hmm. grateful for things that you've taken for granted for so long. And I used to work in socialized medicine um, in Canada. And so when I work every day in the hospital, I just am so appreciative of everything that we have because I remember the times when we had nothing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just really great to practice gratitude. Well, I thank you so much for being our guest today. And um, for anybody who needs to get in contact with you, how can they do that? So they can find me everywhere on social media. And our website is energymdmethod.com. And there's a button in the bottom right corner. If they want to click on it, it'll text me directly. If you want to say hi, if you want to ask me a question, happy to have a chat with you. And we have a learn page with a bunch of quizzes on on uh, uh, Bartonella and Babesia, some of these Lyme type infections mm -hmm. on long COVID. And then we also even have a step one checklist, which helps you figure out the causes that you have. So check oh, us that's out. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Bye Thanks for, for having me on.